Dickinson College's Alliance for Aquatic Resource Monitoring, ALARM, engages volunteers to monitor their local waterways. Using water quality data, communities are able to learn more about the health of their local streams. In this video, we will be showing you how to use the Lamont Tracer Pocket Tester to measure water temperature and conductivity. Conductivity is the measure of the ability of water to pass an electrical current. The method we use to monitor measures conductivity in microsiemens per centimeter. Microsiemens being the unit to quantify the ions present in the water, and centimeters being the distance between the two electrodes on the meter. To get acquainted with your meter, we will review its parts. First is the battery cap that contains the meters for CR2032 batteries, the optional lanyard string attachment, the meter's electrode cap, and the meter's screen and buttons. The LCD display screen shows the units or mode that you are currently in, the value recorded for that unit of measurement, and the temperature of that substance at the bottom of the screen. The meter also has three buttons. The mode button to switch between those units and modes, the cal button to calibrate your meter, and the on and off button. To explore the different modes on your meter, turn your meter on. There are three modes on this specific meter and three different units associated with each mode. To cycle through the modes, press and hold the mode button. For CON or conductivity, this will be shown with the unit's microsiemens at the top of the screen. For TDS, or total dissolved solids, the unit PPM will be displayed. And for SAL, or salinity, the unit PPMS will be displayed. For the purpose of this video and our monitoring, we will be using the mode CON for conductivity. On this meter, you can see three letters circled close to the bottom of the screen. To get rid of these letters and recalibrate your meter, you want to reset the meter. To reset your meter, use two fingers to hold the mode and cal buttons, and then quickly press the on-off button. Your meter will then turn on and display default, reset, and then turn to its home screen. After this, those symbols should be gone and we can calibrate our meter from the start. The temperature will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. If the units are in Fahrenheit and you want to switch to Celsius or vice versa, press and hold the cal button and then quickly turn the meter on with the on off button. This should switch your unit between Celsius and Fahrenheit as you desire. Now that we have oriented ourselves to the meter's parts, we can go into calibrating the meter for testing. For calibrating your meter and conducting tests on your water sample, you will need the Lamotte Tracer Pocket Tester, distilled water, calibration solution beakers, for your 84 microsiemens per centimeter solution and 1413 microsiemens per centimeter solution, your water sample, a beaker for your water sample, the conductivity standard calibration solutions, both 84 microsiemens per centimeter and 1413 microsiemens per centimeter, and a liquid waste bucket. Before beginning your calibration and tests, rinse the calibration beakers and the meter's electrodes three times with distilled water over your liquid waste bucket. 
Now we are ready to calibrate for 84 microsiemens per centimeter or the low range conductivity standard solution. Invert the bottle of 84 microsiemens per centimeter conductivity standard three times and pour enough to cover the electrodes into your beaker. Place the electrode into the solution, but do not let the meter rest on the bottom of the beaker and allow the reading to stabilize. This may take up to two minutes. Stirring the electrodes within the water sample can help stabilize the reading. You can do this while waiting. Once the reading is stable, press and hold the CAL button for approximately two seconds until CAL appears on the bottom of the screen and 84 flashes. When the meter is finished calibrating, S, A, and END will briefly flash and return to the meter's home screen. If S, A, and END do not appear, your meter did not successfully calibrate and you'll have to start from the beginning. Once your meter is calibrated, you will notice that there is a small L in a circle at the bottom of your screen. This means that your meter was successfully calibrated for the low range or 84 microsiemens per centimeter standard solution. You can now pour the standard solution into your liquid waste bucket and rinse the electrodes of your meter for your next calibration. Now you are ready to calibrate your meter to 1413 microsiemens per centimeter or the mid-range conductivity standard solution. You can repeat the same steps using the 1413 microsiemens per centimeter conductivity standard and its vial. Again, invert the bottle of the solution three times and pour enough into your conductivity standard solution beaker to cover the electrodes of your meter. This calibration might go a bit faster because your meter is calibrated to the low range solution, but it could also take up to two minutes for the reading to stabilize. So be patient with your meter as it's to know the 1413 microsiemens per centimeter conductivity solution. Once it is stabilized, you can press and hold CAL, and then the screen will flash 1413 S, A, N, N. You will know if your meter successfully calibrated to this value if there is the letter M in a circle at the bottom of the screen beside the letter L. You can now pour this calibration solution in your liquid waste bucket and rinse the electrodes of your meter. Note that values below 200 have a decimal point present on the screen, whereas values above 200 do not. Now we are ready to test our water sample. Invert your sample three times to evenly distribute any ions that are present in your water. Next, rinse the beaker that you will be using for your sample water with your sample water three times. Here, a little goes a long way. You can pour a little bit of sample water into your beaker and roll it around over your liquid waste bucket to ensure all of the sides are coated with sample water. Do this three times. 
Again, put just enough sample water to cover the electrodes into your beaker for testing. If you pour too much sample water into your beaker, do not pour that water back into the sample bottle. This is to avoid any contamination of your original water sample. Just pour a bit out into your liquid waste container. With a calibrated meter and the meter in the right mode, you can now test your water sample for conductivity. Place your meter into the water sample and wait for the reading to stabilize. And the temperature reading will be at the bottom of the screen, whether you are testing at home or stream side. Record the values you received onto your data sheet. Only record the two replicates that are within range of each other. For conductivity, the precision range is plus or minus 10 microsiemens per centimeter, and for temperature is plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. You can now pour the contents of your beaker into the liquid waste bucket and proceed with other water quality tests. Thank you for following along and volunteering with us. Happy monitoring!